in the next exercise we are going to learn how to use labels with the microsoft purview information protection client or mpip so we're going to learn how to install the mpip client and apply labels using mpip client all right so to um, do that or to use labels with microsoft purview information protection client let's first go and uh, download the client so you can go to this website this is where you can download the microsoft purview information protection client click on download so i'm gonna select the purview information protection exe if you like the msi you can download that click on download once it is done click on open file and let's agree and install it all right so let's close it um, now um, how do we test it so let's go and learn how to apply labels using the mpip client let's minimize this browser and let's create a new text document and let's name it as some confidential data and imagine if this is a document which is going to include a lot of confidential data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and uh, this time click on show more options and here you will have a new option called apply sensitivity label with microsoft purview that's why we installed this uh, client so when you select that that's going to open this particular window or oh, make sure you sign in so if it is prompted i'm going to sign in as johnny sherman because that user have all the access for compliance and things like that all right so the password worked oh so let's try one more time right click on the sensitive data apply sensitive label with information hmm. i should have logged in with the admin credentials let's create a new document all right so that works so all i had to do was uh, like create a new document i didn't know like why it didn't work last time so let's try one more time is it to do with the file not sure it should not be like apply sensitive labels maybe it takes some time yeah it's something to do with the file okay so anyway to show this example i just want to show you this when you go to more options click on apply sensitivity labels um, you should be getting this option called new microsoft publisher and you can protect the document using a sensitive document things like that so here you can have drop down of different policies available for different users and i'm just going to select confidential i'm going to select all employees and click on apply so the new label is applied to that document when i click on close now if you look at it um, can you see a slight difference here like in terms of how it looks there is a lock next to the file there is no lock in this particular file but there is a lock next to the bottom of the right corner so this indicates that the file is encrypted by default and all files assigned with confidential or highly confidential label will be encrypted all right so now in the next exercise we are going to learn encryption with labeling so we are going to create and label microsoft word documents if it doesn't work we will create an excel and verify the document access restrictions and things like that so for that let's go and open word so i'm going to open word because i'm using for the first time it is going to ask me to sign in as well so let's accept the license agreement close and uh, on the top of the word you can see there is a sign in option i'm going to sign in as a user which has account or access or the license click next and i'm going to provide the password for the user sign in and no to this app only and now let's go and click on a blank document so typically the sensitivity option should appear next to the dictate and this side of the ribbon so i don't see it maybe because it is not pulled down yet for this particular user logged in as alex so what we can do is we can like close this and let's launch the word again so i'm gonna go back and click on word again close hopefully the activation is working at the moment click on blank document yeah now you can see that so next to the dictate you should be seeing the sensitivity so when you select sensitivity you can see that there are quite a lot of options available for the user they can select personal general public confidential highly confidential and more importantly these two are the one we created internal and within that there is employee data hr that is trickled down as well that is quite cool 
So now for this user, I'm going to select a sensitivity label. We are going to select general. And within that, there are two options, anyone unrestricted and all employees. So I'm going to select anyone unrestricted, apply this label. Did it apply? Yes, I can see a green checkbox, anyone unrestricted. So in this document, I'm just going to put some text here. I'm going to say that, hey, this document is using the general unrestricted label. I'm going to save file, save as. I'm going to put it in the desktop and I'm going to name this document as a general document. So it's easier to identify and click on save. So the file is saved as general document and document has some information in it. And now let's close it. Now let's go and open Word again. Open a blank document and I'm going to put some information like, hey, this document is using a highly confidential label. And under sensitivity, I'm going to select highly confidential and oops, highly confidential. Within that, I'm going to not select all employees. I'm going to select specific people. Select that. That should open a window to show me who I'm going to give access to. Who is that specific people? Because this is uh, the kind of level of depth of configurable options we can show within the sensitivity labels. Now we can see that, hey, you can apply a label and that is specifically provided to one particular user or a group of user. So now within the permission level, you can see specify who you want to give it to. Do you want to give a viewer access restricted editor, editor access or owner access, or you have more options as well. Things like, do you want to put expiry on this document? This document is going to expire on a particular date, what you're going to select. Um, or things like, user can request additional permission from this particular user. So if you turn this on, they can email you for additional access, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and give the viewer access or the read access to a user. So put in a user account. I'm going to give Nestor the viewer access to the document and click on apply. You can see that immediately there is a new label applied, restricted access. Permission is currently restricted to specific people. If you want to change permission, you can click here that opens this window that allows you to modify and add more people, remove people, change, make changes to the document, things like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to save this, save as, I'm going to put it in the desktop again. Uh, this time, I'm going to add the name as highly confidential document and click on save and close this. So now we have two documents. One is general document and another one is highly confidential. And now how do you verify the document access? So let's go and first and foremost, open the word again. Sorry, um, let's go and find word. Click on search, click on word. First, I'm going to sign out of Alex because Alex is the one who created. Um, click on sign out and click on sign in. And let's sign in as Nestor. Click next, provide the password and sign in. Know this app only. And let's wait a moment for this to set up the profile for Nestor and he can start using it. All right, so now the Nestor is signed in. He can go and create the document and things like that. So now if I go instead of new file, if I go to file, open, and if I go to browse and go to desktop and open the general document, and click on open and I can see that this document should open as no restriction and what I can do is I can come in here add further things I can make changes and I can save uh, that document things like that so that is quite cool the next what we want to test is close this I'm going to close this document launch one more time word make sure we logged in as Nestor Yes, we logged in as Nestor. This time I'm going to open, go browse to desktop and open the highly confidential document, which we just now created and click on open. And by default, we should have the sensitivity label. So you can see that immediately the experience changed from the previous document. Now we have restricted access. I can't even access a lot of things within the ribbon. <laughs> Almost all of that is grayed out because... When Alex created it, uh, he specifically put this as highly confidential. And additionally, he have only given Nestor 
access to view the document. So even though it's a confidential document, I can read it, but I can't make any changes to the document. Now, that is good. That's an experience for Nestor. So if I go to Nestor and sign out, Alex is the one who created, right? And Alex only provided this um, experience or the viewer rights to um, Nestor. So what if I go and sign in and use as a different user? Technically, I should not be able to view this document. So let's see if we can test that as well. So let's go and sign in. Optional data, close. I'm going to click on sign in. This time I'm going to sign in as our compliance administrator in the organization. That is Johnny. Put in the username for Johnny and sign in with Johnny's password. No to this app only. Close. Let's verify who joined. So sorry, who logged in. It's Johnny who logged in. So now we can click on blank document. Um, Johnny have access to use the document, things like that. Um, I can actually go in and open the document and let's see if we can open the general document. Go to desktop and if I open the general document, um, Johnny should be able to see the document. You can see that the document is available and I can see the changes made by Nestor as well. Um, I can close now. Now let's go back and open the word again and we will double check if Johnny is the one who is logged in because we've been keep on switching between different users. All right, so now Johnny is the one who signed in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open the document which is made by Alex, which is defined as highly confidential and it is only given access to Nestor. So I'm going to click on highly confidential document, click on open. You can see there is a new pop-up saying that, hey, this is a highly confidential document you are not signed into the office with the account who is created if you need extra permission go and talk to this particular person which is alex in the organization so you can add a different account or you can click on request permission so that will set an email or at least you will get an option to send an email to nestor i don't want to do that it's going to go through the whole process of setting up my account and things like that i'm going to quickly close 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 but you get the whole workflow idea, right? So now let's cancel, close this out. The next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the encryption part of it. So how do you do that? Let's go to our local device. I don't know why this file is open throughout. Um, let's open the Windows Explorer. Um, let's go to the desktop. That's where we saved all the files. You can see that these are the four files we've been working on so far. One which is protected with the client, one which is highly confidential created by Alex, another general document and one which didn't work at all for some reason. Maybe it was not activated at that time. Now right click the general document and open or we are going to select open with. Choose another app, click on more apps and I'm going to select WordPad. Click OK and click open. Because that file is a general document, we didn't have higher sensitivity label applied, we are able to open this document. But highly confidential, if you remember, I talked about confidential and highly confidential will be default encrypted piece of information within your organization. So let's go and try that theory. So let's close this and now right click the highly confidential document and now click on open with. Now this time open with WordPad. You can see that the WordPad can't open this document. The document is either corrupt or protected under rights management. So because that message says that it's an encrypted file. You can only open with a specific document, uh, a file or like an extension. And when you open it, it is going to do a lot of check in the backend to make sure that the file is being protected and things like that. Uh, for a specific user and control things like that. So now you have learned how to successfully, first and foremost, uh, create a label for a Word documents and apply it. And then you learned about how the encryption work uh, in these apps as well.